Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to attempt to uh, smooth this out. You know, if you haven't watched this series, it's pretty pretty neat how we came up with this. The only downside in this is this owl is not 100% symmetrical, so you can't do like half of him and then do the other side and, and then cut it down the middle and flip it over. It's close, but it's not good enough. So I'm gonna show you just two quick things. One, everybody that has X7 or above should have the smoothing tool. And you can smooth this part out relatively easy. And just depending on how you know smooth you want it to be and up here how smooth you want it to be and everything. So you could do this along the edges, but Corel, when we made this, Corel made these blunt ends on the tips of the feathers. And so I don't know which which way you'd want to do it first, but you want to if you wanted to smooth all these out first, probably would be the best. But I'm going to show you a little trick here that we can do. So here's the blunt edges. You could take the shape tool and let's just, I tell you what, let's just do that. You could take the shape tool and, you know, get rid of some of these nodes and then add a node in the middle and shape that feather and then get rid of these and make it look pretty good. But there's quite a few of them. So there's another way to do that that's a little easier and a lot faster for sure. So let's get the or nudge out of the or nudge that it back out of the way. And let's go to effects and contour. But let's contour to the inside. I'm gonna say like Right now, I'm gonna, I don't even know, point two. And look what it did, it gave us sharp corners. And you can see immediately, you might, you would wanna smooth it up first because the, uh, look how it over, you know, it, it made the smoothing worse. But look how it's made some sharp points for our feathers. And we could even go less than that. Let's go 0.1. Nope. Well, that would work, but then you'd have a lot more smoothing. Let's try just 0.15. Nope, I think 0.2 was our lucky 0.1. Okay, now you're, gonna, you're saying, well, what's so neat about that? Let's go to effects, break contour apart, or object and break contour apart. Take the center one and move it down, nudge it. Now I do see we have a little bit of mistake in his head. But now let's contour to the outside 0 0.02. And go up to object and break, or object break contour apart. And now grab the center one and move it out of the way. And now move this up and over. It made our wings, most of them, I'm not real happy with that. I would have thought it would have done a better job. And I don't understand these parts. But for the most part, it's gonna help you and then you could take the shape tool. And then, like I said, you'd wanna probably smooth them out first. Cause you could always do this. And like this one that's got a curve, you could select all these, right click and turn them into a curve. And then you could actually curve these lines a little bit around the feathers. Just delete that one. See what I'm doing, I'm just, that looks pretty good. So just double click and put a node and then, of course, you go back to the smooth. Now, this is going to take some work. Granted, it's not going to be um, magic. It's going to be some hands-on uh, smoothing and getting rid of nodes and adding nodes. But I really think if you took the time, this owl is pretty cool. Um, it's a really detailed drawing. 
and then delete that node. And, you know, you could go through here and delete all the nodes but the one in the corner, and you got rid of a lot of them. Uh, so it's not going to... Now, what I said earlier is like, well, let me go back and fix this head. Let's just delete that node. And then, you know, take this one, and we definitely... Now, if the owl was even, if he was symmetrical, let me just clean him up just a little bit more on this side. If the owl was symmetrical, and sometimes you can't see it do anything, so make sure you double click on it, make sure you've got it. It's hard to see the bounty box when you're off, zoomed in that far. And you could always make your smoothing tool larger. See, I don't even know what centimeters are, but you make it a little bit larger. Now, the only disadvantage in enlarging it goes faster, but you can also get off and uh, touch something else that you didn't need to smooth. So let's say we've done we've done this part of the bird. If the owl was symmetrical, you could take and move this down. Let's control G and group this guy together and put him in the center of the page. Whoop! I didn't get him all. Control G. Control. We'll just put him in the center of the page. There he is. Let me move the other outline out. Because I've been playing with this for a little while. And, um, and then let's take this one and hit P and put him in the center. And look how those hairlines from a distance look like they're solid. So let's say we've done this side and we're happy with it. If the owl was symmetrical... You could do this right here, take a two-point line and hit P and delete everything on this side of the bird. You've got this one all smoothed out. Control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button. Okay, I'm using somebody else's uh, file. Well, you know what it is, there's something still here. Okay. Go up to object, break curve apart. We've got a part right there. So whenever you see your bounding box, pass that line. Control D and make a duplicate. And it should match up. Take our line away. And of course, at this time, you'd want to smart fill it. But I'm just doing it to show you that it is not symmetrical. But if it was, and it still might be faster, because some, it's, it's symmetrical enough at the top uh, you might gain by that. Now, down here, it's a mess. Um, don't really know why that's going down there. But, you know, it's really easy to take nodes and move them around. You know, and then you, this is definitely one you'd want to right click and turn it to a curve so you could curve around that. Same thing here, maybe bring that down and right click and turn it into a, it already is a curve. So we have to make this one a curve and just, you actually have to take both these and right click to turn them to a curve. And then you've got, now this is gonna take some time, but with that bird, it might be worth it. Anyway, not real proud of this video, but thank you for watching.